hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the daily market update if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet do want to click on the subscribe button and smash notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video here so finally finally i've been able to uh, to to show up all right so far as bringing you daily market update is concerned all right yes yeah, so i'm just hoping that i'll be able to i'll be able to bring you the daily market update on a consistent basis all right by this time around this, this is how i'm going to do it all right even though it's a daily market update i will only show up as and when i see something interesting on the market so far as that particular week is concerned do you get it yeah so sometimes you might not see me bringing you update that means i'm not really seeing anything interesting but i'm not expecting anything interesting to happen in the market going into the subsequent days within the week so if i'm bringing you an update clearly it should tell you that yes i'm seeing something interesting all right on the market and it's not going to be all the pairs all right sometimes i'll see a, something interesting on, on, a, on a pair or one particular market and then i'll bring you an update on that all right yes but with, with this update i think i'll get i'll i'll bring you oh, um, i'll update you on two or three pairs all right gpuhd and aduhd and gold all right yes so make sure you stick true to the end so that you enjoy every bit of it all right yeah so let's look at gpuhd so for gpuhd if you watched my weekly market outlook all right i mean i've already said it here time and time again the reason why if you are watching my daily market update you should go back and watch my weekly market update if you haven't watched it all right yeah so i mean i'm not going to explain myself again so if you haven't watched my weekly market update please go back and watch it before you come here all right yes go back and watch it before you come here else you wouldn't really get a full understanding of whatever i'm talking about in my daily market updates all right yeah so let's move on for gpuhd just as i made you aware in the daily market update i i gave you scenarios i'm expecting to what it to play out all right i gave you both the bullish scenario and then the bearish scenario all right yeah so i want us to look at something here currently this is where price is sitting all right yes yeah, so this is where price is sitting price is sitting at this what this other block right here all right this block this is the last down close can proud to price what moving to the upside to take out what this buy side liquidity right here yes yeah, so this is this is where price is sitting as it stands now on the daily time frame all right this is where price is sitting we are not sure yet as to where price wants to move to as to whether price is going up or is going down so I'm, I'm about to give you scenarios to expect for both sides all right either a bullish bias or a bullish direction or a bearish direction do you get it so if you're expecting a bearish direction this is what you should see before you arrive at a bearish direction if you're expecting a bullish direction this is what you should see before you arrive at a bullish direction exactly yeah so let's switch to the four r for me to break things down for you yeah so with the four hour this is where i marked on a daily all right yeah, this is where price is sitting do you get it yes this is where price is sitting and then mind you we've taken out we've taken out this bearish order block right here all right yes yeah, so you violated this bearish block here all right yes you violated this bearish block here so we had a what we had an impulse move right here a bearish order block right here all right and then we saw price what coming back bouncing into this bearish order block and then we saw price moving down but we haven't really seen a very impulse move we should have seen an impulse move if price was was to continue to what to push it down but as it stands now price bounced price touched this this zone right here and it bounced off all right so now if price should move to the upside hmm, is if price should move to the upside this is what i'm expecting to see all right if price should move to the upside there is a likelihood of us seeing price pushing to the downside getting a fake out all right it's two things 
is either we get a fake out right here all right then you see price push up all right you see price push up take out this buy side liquidity right here come back into that high that was violated then you see a push up violating this bearish order block once again then you see price coming back for a closure once this happens then we can be very confident that on a long term we see price beginning to work to push to the upside all right yeah you see price beginning to work to push to the upside do you get it so if that happened that means you i'll definitely <coughs> sorry i'll definitely look forward for a position right here all right yes then we see a push to the upside but mind you the likelihood of this occurring i mean don't be surprised if we should see this scenario playing out without this low being without seeing this low all right yes we might have rise move a little bit into the zone before we see a push up or we will have a fake out that is if we have a what we are going to have a bullish scenario do you get it yes on the other hand all right on the other hand if we are going to have a bearish scenario this is what i would expect to see it's either price who move back into the zone take out this high right here all right then we see a push down violating this low finally all right which will be a what a confirmation for what for a bearish movement so far as this market is concerned then we see a push back up all right and then we see a push back down for a continuation to the downside do you get it yes and so in this scenario there is that possible there is that likelihood that we might not even see price what pushing to the zone right here all right we might see price pushed up a little bit all right pushed up a little bit into this little bearish block we are seeing here all right bearish other block we are seeing here all right yes you might see price pushing into it let me let me change the color so that it doesn't confuse you all right yes so there is that likelihood that we might just see price pushing into this block into this bearish other block to test it then we see a push to the downside violating this low right here all right violating this low right here then we see price bouncing back into the zone then we see a push to the downside that is if we are expecting to see price what push to the downside so i've given you two scenarios all right two scenarios and what to expect in each of the scenario all right so be very watchful on the market and keep this in mind all right if you are not getting it you can go back and watch this video again all right or you can rewind and watch this video again until you get it because it's so clear all right but if you don't get it you can watch it over and over again for you to to understand whatever information i'm giving out all right i've given you two scenarios two likelihood scenarios to happen on the market as it stands now price is the direction of the, the direction of price is not it's not so clear all right and i mean it's 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 understandable all right because this week the big news coming ahead or the big news you're expecting to see on the market is the cpi so just as i told you in my weekly market update monday tuesday wednesday don't really expect much from the market all right yeah so we with, with with these three days don't don't waste your time looking for opportunities on the market all right it is thursday after the cpi that we will start seeing opportunities coming into the market so the real trading days for this week or the trading days that will come with opportunities for this week is thursday and friday all right it's thursday and friday leave leave monday tuesday and wednesday for i mean for those that really 
trade on the lower time frames the one minute the five minutes leave it for them right yes and then focus on if you are really looking for a real opportunity in the market you should relax all right relax and wait for the cpi all right yeah. so these are the two scenarios that i've been able to spell out all right after the cpi i'll do a video all right i'll come back with an update so that we'll discuss or we'll see how price has reacted after the cpi or how the cpi has influenced the direction of the market then we will see the word the way forward yes yeah. so that is just that so far as gbp usd is concerned let's switch to ad usd and see what is happening there so gp usd ad usd to uh, i think is the same thing all right is the same price action that is happening here but let's let's try and then delve into it and see yeah let's let's try and delve into it and see before we come back to the one to the four hour time frame let's switch to to the two hour time frame and see yeah so for the two hour time frame we are still seeing price what pushing to the downside all right with this bullish order block here as the what as the point of focus remember in when the gp usd or in gp usd price around the zone all right but for ad usd price hasn't gotten anywhere all right yes so for a daily it seems ad usd is lacking a little bit behind but let's switch back to the four hour time frame and see what is happening there yeah so for the four hour time frame we are yet to what to take out look at where price is currently sitting on the four hour time frame all right this is where price is currently sitting on the four hour time frame all right here yeah. so with gp us sorry ad usd to same plan all right if you're expecting to see price push to the upside but with this i want us to go further to the two hour time frame and see yeah the, the two hour time frame all right yes yeah. so i think the two hour time frame makes it makes this and i will make this scenario a little, a little bit clearer for you all right take note that this is a what this is a previous high all right this is a previous high so for adusd i'll be monitoring the market more on the what on the two hour time frame so this is what what i'm expecting to see given what two scenarios so if price is exp if price should continue to what, to push to the upside once we have a what we have a bearish or sorry bullish other block right here i expect to see price what bounce off it value to this high once we see a violation of this high then we see a, a retracement and a closure above this high i would i will look for an entry to the upside all right take out this high that is if you would if what i'm expecting or if this high is being violated all right that is on a word on a bullish scenario when it comes to the bearish scenario for me to be able to confirm on a bearish stance on a longer term i want to see this bearish other block violated all right violated come back to it then we see a push to the downside so my entry will be around this area all right yes so then i'll expect to see price push to the downside that is if we see a violation of this low right here but what is the weekly time frame telling us i want us to quickly look at what is happening on the weekly time frame yeah so for the weekly time frame price is what is has arrived within the what within this fair value gap this low right here all right let me take out this so that you see it clearly this low right here and this high all right that is a fair value gap we are seeing so price currently sitting in the fair value gap or in the weekly fair value gap all right here yeah. so as it stands now on the weekly we've already taken out to this high right here then we are seeing a what retracement happening all right we are seeing retracement happening so we take note of that all right yeah so i think that will that will that will be all for adhd all right but i want us to i want to yes yeah so that's 
that will be all for AGD USD. All right. Yes, I want to. Yes, I want these ones, these markups to to be there. All right. Yeah. So that when we come back, we'll be able to see how price has what has played out. All right. Yes. Yeah. So you can also do same on yours. All right. You can open your chart and do same. That will serve as a guide. All right. That will serve as a guide as to where you're expecting price to move to. So if any of the scenarios should play out, all right, you should see the first so the movement for for a bearish condition, the movement to the downside violating this low should be a first confirmation. Price coming back to close above it should be a second confirmation. So in each of the scenarios, there are two confirmations. All right, same thing applies to GP risk. You can go back and check. In each of the scenarios, there are two confirmations. For breve scenario, there are two confirmations. All right, first confirmation, second confirmation before we see a continuation to the downside. All right, for a bullish for a bullish scenario, first confirmation. The first confirmation is what is price taking out this high. The second confirmation is price closing above it. All right, coming in the form of retracement what to close either above it or a little bit here all right then we see we see price what pushing to the downside all right you should know that once before we see price pushing to the upside a, a swing low formation should form you should you should know this all right i don't have to tell you you should know a swing a swing low formation should what should form so that should be your final final confirmation that should be your final final confirmation before we see a push to the downside to the upside sorry yeah so that swing low confirmation is not really a confirmation like that all right but once you see a push to the downside closing either above this high right here or just below it that should be your final confirmation at this point nothing nothing should stop you from taking a bullish trade all right nothing should stop you from taking a bullish trade same thing applies to on the very side all right when you see price violating this low right here price coming back to close around this area nothing should stop you from taking a bearish trade all right yeah so that is just that for gbp usd let's look at what is happening on the gold market all right yes for the gold market, I don't think we waste time there. I'll just because the last time I checked, I mean, nothing really significant was happening on the gold market. But let's let's check the gold gold market and see what is happening there. All right, yes. Yeah, so we can't see much on the daily. Let's switch to the four-hour time frame and see what is happening there. Yes. Yeah, so the four-hour to same thing all right let's switch to the two hour and see yes so for the two hour just as i'm just as i made you aware in my weekly market analysis all right i'm looking at price is currently what is currently in a range all right price is currently in a range you're not really seeing i'm coming let me let me even start from this direction for some time now, we are we are not really seeing price giving us a what, giving us a clear direction. All right, we are not seeing price giving us a clear direction. So I would take this as a consolidation phase. All right, I'll take this as I'll take this whole region here as a consolidation phase. All right, yeah. So I need a breakout. I need to see a breakout. All right, yes. Whereby this our dealing range is what is this high right here all right this high we are seeing here this high here and then this low right here all right yes so i'll leave it like that and see how the market is going to react all right this is the two hour time frame so we take note all right yes yeah, so definitely i'll bring you an update if i see anything interesting going into the trading day all right going into the next trading day i will 
give you an update all right yes i'm using it the new york Times. so it's currently 9 54 p.m in new york yeah so we are yet to what to enter into a new trading day so far the new york time is consent right here so going into a new new trading day if i see any interesting thing i'll bring it to you all right other than that i'll just stay off the market and see how things go we all expect to see how the cpi will react all right yes it's going to be very interesting right after that expect a video to drop all right yeah so if you haven't subscribed to my channel do what to click on the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you won't get oh so sorry <laughs> so that you do you get notified whenever i post a new video all right yes my telegram page sorry my telegram channel is also up all right the link is in the description box below click on it and be part of my telegram community i'm open for mentorship yes so so just check through my description box below my id is there hit me up and let's talk all right mind you i've been i've been in the trading space this, this is actually my if, if, if I'm, not, I'm not mistaken this is my almost fourth year all right this 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 is my fourth year almost because i remember i got myself introduced into the market that was somewhere june 2020 here yeah, during the COVID era that is where i got myself introduced into the market so i have i have more or less about four years experience in the market all right so that should tell you the knowledge i have so if you need mentorship don't hesitate to get to me then we get things rolling all right yes so that is that is just that I'll come your way again another time. I wish you all good luck and good treat. Peace.